Hi there and welcome to a micro video looking at a numerical example of how a shift in demand for a firm can lead to a change in the profit maximizing price, output and also level of profit. So here's our initial example, a firm with a downward sloping demand curve and the original profit maximizing output is 280 units. That's where marginal cost meets marginal revenue. Uh, we can sell those units for £160 per unit. The average cost is assumed to be £80. So we're making a 50% markup on, on cost. 100% markup on cost, so if uh, we're doubling the price effectively compared to cost. And the total profit is shown by the shaded area. So it's £80 profit per unit times by 280 gives a total profit of 22,400 shown by the yellow area. Now, what happens if there's an outward shift in demand, an increase in demand? Well, the key point is that both the average and the marginal revenue curve will shift outwards to the right, an increase in demand, and that's shown in my diagram. Consequence of that is that the profit maximizing level of output where MR meets MC will increase. I've, I've increased it to 330 units. Can you see there the intersection between MC and MR2? Also, that means we can now sell those units at a higher price. I've assumed that we can sell 330 units at a price of £180, £20 per unit higher. Well, this is obviously good news for profit. We just need to work out the unit cost first. So once we've found the average cost of producing 330 units, which I'm assumed a little higher at £85 per unit, we can now show the profit, the shaded area, compare the yellow area originally with the new area in green here. You can see that's a much bigger area of total profit. And we can calculate this as you often expected to do in an exam. The total profit now is 330 units times by the profit per unit, which is actually £95 per unit giving a total profit of £31,350. £31, Key takeaway points, an outward shift of demand leads to a shift in both AR and MR. A lot of students only shift the average revenue curve, don't, uh, they don't remember to shift the MR curve as well. This allows a profit maximizing firm to expand their production and also charge a higher price per unit. And total profits will increase, assuming there's no change in marginal and average cost.